and welcome to this video diving into more details regarding Adobe Experience Platform's integration with Adobe Analytics. My name is Jonathan Bush, Senior Enterprise Architect in Adobe Consulting's Enterprise Architecture team. Enterprise Architects with Adobe Consulting are technical leaders on our customer engagements, and we work across the Adobe stack with Adobe customers. In this video, we're going to look in more detailed mechanics and what to expect when integrating with Adobe Analytics. First, let's take a look at the mechanics of our AEP Analytics integration. AEP's integration creates what is essentially an additional flow from launch into edge, where a split occurs. If you set up your analytics data to be ingested to profile, meaning you are likely using your analytics data for segmentation within CDP, then the data is ingested as streaming data, where your data latency is of utmost importance and is shortened to just up to two minutes, unless you're utilizing Adobe for target, in which the latency is up to 15 minutes. Regardless of whether you are ingesting the profile or not, the data is also ingested into AEP's data lake and batches, where your data latency is up to 90 minutes. This may be useful for things like CJA use, where you're building reporting based on that data. When bringing in analytics data, you'll find that once you've selected a report suite, you'll have an XDM schema auto-populated with the data captured in analytics. Analytics data should not contain PII, but perhaps you've got key identities that are not PII captured in EVARs within analytics that are available from other data sources within AEP. And this would be the time to find that EVAR and change the mapping as such so that the EVAR is marked as an identity. When doing this, you unlock a lot of capabilities, especially in segmentation within CDP. You now have a link to key analytics provided identifiers and key analytics IDs such as ECID and offline data that can now be connected to analytics. When establishing your connection, you may notice that there's a historical data stream within AAP for your analytics data. Keep in mind that this historical data will only be mapped to AAP's data leak and not for profile meaning you will not have historical events from that historical stream, such as page views available for segmentation and profile. So when talking about profile ingestion, you'll need to likely wait for profile data to accumulate for use cases where you're looking back a significant amount of time. When talking about looking back, another consideration is how long your analytics data is worth keeping. Each new ECID or visit that, that is completely unknown, counts as a profile against your total profile lot of an AAP. So be mindful of how much traffic you're anticipating to your site or how often users spend on your site. You'll want to configure the TTL or time to live as to match what you need from a use case perspective and how it may impact your AAP license. We hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. We'd love to hear from you. And you can reach us at acs-ea at adobe.com with feedback or suggestions.